Today we have Burroughs Wheeler transform. It's not a compression algorithm in the manner we used to think. It's more like uh, some of preparation steps for some different compression algorithm. For example, run length encoding we're going to discuss later or move to front coding. So, we have three main steps. We will iterate through them. We create quadratic matrix containing the source word and all cyclically shifted versions of the word. Then we sort the rows that they occur in uh, lexicographical order. Then we store or transmit the word in the last column and the index of the row containing the original word. This is the encoding for the burroughs wheeler transform. We will work with this sequence as example. These words are cyclically shifted versions of abracadabra. Here we shift one symbol to the left and this A that has been on the very left has become on the very right. And now we cyclically shift uh, the second word starting from R and etc. You see this pattern cyclically shifted. Alright, that involved a lot of writing but we have produced the cyclically, cyclically shifted version of the whole sequence. Now we will sort these small sequences as rows in lexicographical order such that, for example, uh, this AA B, R, A will become the first row, the second one will be, I think, uh, this one, or oh, I will show it in any case. Okay, we have sorted out our rows from here, now here we have the same rows, but sorted in lexicographical order. First one starts from 2A, second one from AB, and etc. What we will actually store is the index of an initial sequence plus the last row. We store this last row and the index of a row which of the row that represents our initial sequence. And that's it. Now we will proceed to the decoding part. This is the formal definition of the decoding scheme, but I think the example will explain it much better. We will sort the given symbols, initialize the index, and on each iteration we will add this received word, received sequence, to what we have and sort once again, and we will continue it until the word is produced. Now let's go to the example. Here we sort our received sequence. We have sorted the symbols. This symbol means end of file. End of file. It is a, in lexicographical order. He's the last one. Now to the sorted sequence, we add our sequence we have, and we will sort it once again. We have sorted the symbols. Now we properly add. And we continue that. We continue adding and sorting until each word here will become the length of all symbols present in the received word. We make one more iteration and another iteration. I will clean this up, thus the, uh, the last iteration will be here. Here a couple more steps. I want you to clearly see the pattern. We have some sequences. Here, ignore first letter in each row. They are sorted out and this is added to them. We produce from them another sorted sequence. Ignore first letter in each row for now. We produced them and sorted out. 
and then add it once again. And that's actually the whole pattern here. And we will do that until we produce uh, words of the certain length and more steps and I will write the final sequence. And on the final step we produce sequence like that and we know that our work can only end on end of file, right? And thus we just choose bandana end of file, not end of file bandana for example or something uncomprehensible here. We choose bandana end of file because our work ends on end of file. And that's it.